yo guys what is going on insanity coming back at you today with another division video and yes i know it seems really strange it feels like it's like what 2019 2020 2021 here on this channel with all this division news coming in in the past two days but we're gonna go ahead and continue the conversation about the division resurgence the brand new mobile game that they revealed yesterday uh and how the community is taking this all in within 24 hours i i think overall and myself included, I think it's a positive response. I think trying to make a division game in the palm of your hands, take it wherever you want to go, is a great and very ambitious experience. And if Diablo Immortal is anything to go off of, you can make a quality, really good mobile game that plays well as long as you don't ruin it with microtransactions. And... If they learn anything from Diablo Immortal at all, they don't go that route because that's just going to piss the entire community off. With this being a free-to-play game, I'm all for spending money on cosmetics. If you know me in all of my runs of Division 1, Division 2, the cosmetic grind is real. It's always been there. It's been one of the most awesome and unique things, and I can't wait to grind cosmetics in Heartland whenever we get some more information on that game. But if there's a season pass for Resurgence and it's all cosmetic stuff, I'll gladly pay for it. But if it's going to be for weapon blueprints, if it's going to be for missions, for getting extra XP, for all that stuff, it's just going to ruin the experience overall. And please, Ubisoft, don't do that. Don't become a microtransaction asshole. Nobody wants that. And the division needs something good. And I think everyone is sitting there like right on that 50-50 line. They're very interested. They want to say, oh, I'm really interested to see where this goes. What kind of game really is it? Is it a true open world game like the description says? Or is this going to be more of a point and click experience where you point at something, you click it, you shoot it? Or is it going to have full controller support where you're going to be able to go ahead and play it like you're regular playing the Division 1 or 2? We'll have to wait and see until there's an actual gameplay reveal of this thing and people get to show what it looks like working on a phone, working on an iPad, or... What this video is really about is working on a computer, all right? I don't see why they wouldn't be able to go ahead and port this thing on over to the PC. Give everyone what they want, and this is where that other 50% of, I don't like this game, everyone in that mindset is because they don't want to play on their phones. As soon as this video came out, the first thing that came in my mind was that Diablo Immortal gameplay reveal the big old trailer announcement and the guy just stood up on stage and went don't you guys have phones like we don't need that experience just go ahead right before you know your big state of whatever the ubisoft forward i almost said state of the game wow <laughs> whenever the ubisoft forward comes out and you actually show a little bit of gameplay of this thing if you plan on doing it then announce that there's also going to be a port of this available on pc on day one with cross save progression that would be amazing that way you can play this thing on the go but you're not stuck with it on the go in the palm of your hands on a little five to seven inch little phone you can sit there and play it on your big ass monitor or your tv or whatever you want to do with the controls of your choice do us a favor ubisoft and all the developers that are making this game don't let us down do not make this a mobile only experience give us cross progression Give us PC compatibility and let this game shine and showcase that, yes, you can create a game with a shared world across mobile and PC that you can play with your friends, and it's actually a really good experience. Anywho, that's my two cents. Be sure to go off and sign off in the comments down below, guys. What do you think? Are you excited for Resurgence? Do you think this is a terrible idea? Do you wish they would move on to the Division 3? Do you want to know more about Heartland? Do you care about Year 5 and the Division 2? There seems to be a lot of stuff going on, and we just know a very, very small amount of it right now. Anywho, I'll see you all in the next one.